I'm so grateful to be here. I have lived my 50 years of life through um, competition with myself and others. Life's and treating you well then. <laughs> it has, but I've gotten and I've done many amazing things. Yeah. And now I'm at this point where I want to continue on doing amazing things. And I'm fighting um, between repeating the striving for Well, you don't have to do that. You've asked, and it's in the vortex. Now you just let it in. This is the easy part. Chill out. Next. <laughs> We said we get you. We didn't say you'd get us. <laughs> oh, I just want to relax and allow. What we said to you, it, did it make sense conceptually? Do you accept that you did step one and that Source has done step two? And so your work right now is step three. And that really is about relaxing. Here's the thing that is tripping you up. Trips a lot of people up. You ask. You don't realize that it's answered and you don't realize that now you've asked your work is to relax and let it in so you keep asking you continue to stay in step one well step one is a different vibration than step three step one is utilizing the contrast acknowledging what you don't want there's so much resistance in step one that you can't let it in so you got to find some way to get out of step one so can you feel the presence of the striving still within her and so that tension that you feel is your indication of that continual striving which is continual step oneing which is in the way you see so that's why we like to explain how it works so that you know what to do when let's say that you've decided that you're going to have a successful skydiving experience and They've explained to you what you're going to do, but you get the steps all out of order. And so when you're still in the airplane, you pull the ripcord. <laughs> and then you say, okay, now I'm going to jump. And everyone says, no, don't do it. Don't go yet. In other words, you got the steps out of order. And so what happens with so many of you, you do step one, we do step two. Then you do step one and we do step two and then you do step one and we do step two and then you do step one and we do step two and then you do step one and we do step two and then you do step one and we do step two and you say this stuff doesn't work <laughs> and we say at some point you got to relax with some attitude of faith or trust that the process is working for you but humans we love you so much but you are so prone to striving because somewhere you've come to believe that asking and making it happen that the striving part is what pays off well it might pay off in a very mundane way in the sense that you can pick stuff up and move it from place to place while you're step wanting you can be hateful and angry and you can move a lot of stuff around but you cannot get the contents of your vortex to stream consistently into your life experience if you remain in the striving mode and you've got that all upside down you strive so much and you let in just a little bit so much so that when you relax and let something in you think it's a fluke oh I had the most uplifting enlightening moment for a moment oh it was just wonderful that's the way it's supposed to feel all the time you should be in a state of satisfaction the majority of the time and sometimes speculating a little bit step one is a good step unless you're striving when you ask with expectation <laughs> that's asking and allowing at the same time that is so delicious but when you ask while you doubt when you ask while you fear when you ask while you're mad when you ask when you're guilty or blameful then you just put tension into the equation you see so we're appreciating your opening remarks and it is our expectation that as we move forward that you'll find some ways of relaxing a little bit in all of this thank you so you want to talk about something specific and we'll give it two minutes I would like to talk about my healing abilities and I guess that's just allowing to <laughs> when you have healing abilities and everyone does but when you are exercising your healing abilities it means 
you're in step three you're not striving you're letting it in the fact that you know how to do that it's interesting we hear from a lot of teachers and healers like you I'm really good when I'm talking to other people about what's going on with them <laughs> just not so good when I talk about the stuff that I've been pushing against my whole life so a question that we want to put to you think about it a little bit don't work hard on it is why is it easier for me to give somebody else the benefit of the doubt than it is myself why is it easier for me to expect good things to come to somebody else than it is myself the answer is simple it's just that you've been walking around with yourself thinking resistant thoughts about yourself and through yourself you think all the time Esther came out of the hair salon the other day and while her car was in the parking lot at the garage someone bumped it a little bit and built bent the license plate frame and damaged the grill a little bit so she had taken it in for repair and now it's in the parking lot and it's all bright and shiny and new again so she's walking out to the parking lot and she says well hello Cadillac do you like your new nose <laughs> and your new grill and then she began to laugh and she said to herself I'm talking to an inanimate object <laughs> and I think it's answering me <laughs> and then she thought I talk to inanimate objects and I talk to non-physicals and we say you're all projecting all the time and the projection it's not who you're talking to or even the sanity of your thoughts in other words this was just Esther's playful way of acknowledging how happy she was that the license plate frame was back the way she likes it but the reason that we bring this story up is because whether you're talking out loud like a crazy person like Esther does she likes to keep her earplugs in so that it looks like she's on the phone <laughs> whether you're talking out loud <laughs> and looking like a crazy person as Esther sometimes does or whether these thoughts are just flowing through your mind still you are projecting thoughts continually and that steady projection of thought that steady focusing of thought is what equals your blending or not your allowing or resistance your satisfaction or not you see so it's just something you want to be aware of and not try to fix all at once just fix thought by thought as you're moving along